Taylor, Operations Manager at McLeod. Today we're going to show you how to adjust the hydraulic throw-up bearing, the slip-on hydraulic bearing. We're getting a lot of phone calls of people not really understanding how it's done. So first thing we're going to do is take the A dimension. And what we're going to do is we're going to measure from the back face of this bell housing to the tip of the fingers. So I'm going to take a straight edge and I'm going to put that right up against there. I'm going to take my veneers and I'm going to measure right to the tip of the fingers here. Let's see here. Okay, I'm gonna put that right there. And I'm on the fingers, and I went right to there. And our measurement is three inches, 874 thousandths. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, let me get the light around so we can see. Okay, so we have 800, I'm sorry, we have three inches, 874 thousandths. Now what I want is 200 thousandths clearance between the bearing and the fingers. So I'm gonna subtract 200 thousandths from this three inches, 874, which will bring us down to 3674. So I'm gonna adjust this veneers down to 36. 74 okay that's close and I'm gonna lock my little um, my thumb screw here now this is where I want to adjust this to the face of the transmission so I'm gonna put the same straight edge against there and I'm gonna measure and see if we've got that now you can see I'm not to the straight edge okay I've got way too much clearance so I'm gonna take the bearing and I'm gonna adjust it that's on a little jack screw and if I can get these hoses here, it's a little difficult on the transmission jack sometimes. I'm going to adjust this out. And it's just like unthreading a nut on a bolt. And it comes out. Now I'm going to check and see where we're at. And we're right there. So with this, which I've already subtracted to 200 thousandths, I've gone from the straight edge right to the face of the transmission and I've got my dimension very good so we're set that's it so make sure the bleeder valve is always at the top and the feed line is at the bottom so all we have to do is just put the transmission in and hook it up we've already got our our um, clearance we're 200,000 shorter from here to here than we were from here to here. So when we install it, we'll have our 200,000 spikes. And there you have it.